Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. The, the brother has an ask a question <clears throat> about a YouTube AdSense income. Uh, is it halal or haram? Audhu billahi minash shaitan al-dim. Sumdara madarayam. Rabbi shara ala sadri wa zulli amri. Wa ahalu luqtata min lisani. Yaqohu qali. In order to declare something what is halal and haram, we have to completely look at the video. Uh, uh, people are posting. So many people think like that there's a haram advertisements coming up and uh, that uh, when somebody click on advertisement and uh, the, uh, the advertisement coming from the one who has an AdSense account, uh, that is like a haram. But l let me explain something, several things here because maybe many of you are, is not uh, familiar about that. Google uh, and the YouTube they target the audience like a male, female, uh, age-wise, and by the age ranges, from minor to the elderly, and uh, they they show the advertisements according to that individual computer usage. For an example, if someone has an AdSense account. Uh, in Pakistan or India uh, and someone sitting in um, America and uh, so when somebody is searching for something on a YouTube and uh, your video comes up and that person is in Pakistan and uh, because he has an AdSense account the advertisement is being showing uh, on the individual that who is using a, a computer that particular advertisement that specific advertisement is is based on many factors it is not based on someone uh, coming through who has an adsense account because that has a like separate topic but let me try to uh, finish one topic and then I'm gonna come to the uh, to the next topic the individual that is using a computer for searching for something there is something called terminology of adsense youtube google search engines and based on the keywords that individual is using on that particular computer it is based on his research it's based on the the keywords that has been uh called that's something called a cookie cookie is being used the cookies are being used in order for the google and youtube uh, to show up an advertisement on that particular individual's computer even though the AdSense is coming from a Muslim brother or sister and sitting in Pakistan or India and someone using a computer in America or in another country but Google is uh, showing that particular advertisement and that specific ad advertisement this is coming according to to that particular person who is using his search, uh, what he is used to do, what he likes to do on the computer. So based on all those cookies is being uh, stored on the on the hard drive, based on the research, based on the history, based on the shopping, on entertainment, or filming, or whatever is it, uh, it is coming uh based on the research and it's called the keywords it's called terminology it's called an seo and based on many many factors and that based on all that uh compiling together research and that advertisement is being shown on the person who specifically uh using the person it is not something had to do with someone uh, who has an ad sense and advertisements coming from him now that is something different topic now let me uh, go to his topic those who have an ad sense account and those who has a uh, YouTube account those brothers and sisters working from India Pakistan uh, and they have the ad sense but the only uh, obligation is to it is obligated to uh, for them to to uh, to use the the filter. The filter uh, has a uh, many 
categories has a many sub categories and have a, has a very very sub sub categories and you have to filter all that and when you filter that for an example if somebody is trying to uh, to look at something for like let's say for an investment and uh, for a loan uh, for an alcohol or something related to haram for an example if someone has an adsense account um, if he has been blocked all those uh, categories and subcategories uh, in his account so if someone that particular computer particular individual is using that computer and based on all his research and the, your video comes up okay let's say your video comes up but the advertisement that you have been blocked uh, that will not show up instead it will show something else because if if uh, if he individual is being searching on something on a YouTube and uh, by using uh, some keywords like something is a forbidden uh, categories uh, on a YouTube or on a let's say a movie music or whatever it is let's say for example uh, you have filtered those uh, categories and subcategories so your advertisements of the, the the categories that you have been blocked it will not show up uh, on the, that particular computer so you do not get a sin and uh, all the halal advertisements permissible advertisements you get for an example clothing for the health uh, for the gym products for uh, electronics and the mobile accessories um, it, it could be anything but other than that all those forbidden advertisements that you have been blocked into your uh, adsense account it will not show those advertisements in somebody's computer and it is not gonna uh, you do not get a scene for that because you have already uh, filtered those categories but there's another thing you have to understand that those muslim brothers and sisters who really have any concern about earning a halal risk or halal uh, income and they have a really concern about receiving an, um, halal advertisements on the permissible advertisements on the individual somebody using a computer and they want to uh, keep their adsense account as pure as uh, possible those individuals those brothers and sisters do not just look into uh, the halal income do not just look at to to get the halal risk from my youtube but majority of the muslim brothers and sisters are not aware of they are too much involved into uh, a bollywood and hollywood and the music and the movies and all these things so when you promote that kind of things on on your channels please remove that because whatever uh, you've been promoting it's an extreme sin it is not only you are sinning it, it's extremely that anyone who is watching or uh, your channel has a forbidden stuff like a music uh, like a movies or any forbidden stuff for the sake of income for the sake of subscribers and uh, uh, for sake of uh, having uh, like too many views and uh, uh, bring like more advertisements so these are all forbidden so you have to stay on a safe side for example uh, on your youtube channels uh, on your youtube channel uh, we have to be careful there's no movies there is no woman visible there is no music there is no hollywood there is no hollywood or anything that is forbidden in islam so rather i suggest those brothers and uh, uh, sisters to to promote something which is an islamic which is like an educational and uh, uh, which is helping other people and uh, for the example i have seen like uh, many many sisters and uh, they have a uh, vlogs and uh, mashallah their face is not visible but alhamdulillah they've been cooking they have a cooking channel and some of them has a vlog which is basically just simply uh, traveling around and talking and they're making a vlogs and uh, that that's totally permissible because it, this is good this is entertainment and it fresh ups your mind and those sisters and and those brothers um, 
whose sisters are face is visible and those sisters who are being uh, promoting a uh, makeup how to wear a hijab uh, the nasheed channels and any uh, related to that particular things that is forbidden sisters who appear on a youtube channel is totally haram the risk is totally haram there's no uh, doubt about that there's no justifications about that the woman has to stay in hijab so those sisters who has a uh, makeup channels those sisters who has a uh, uh, hijab wearing how to wear a hijab how to wear fashion hijab how to this and blah blah how to make a uh, arabic makeup this and that it all haram and rather you just promoting a fahash you promoting a haram that is not permissible rather if you want to do something good make it halal risk that this comes from a adsense account like for example you can have a travel uh you can have a food uh you can have an educational you can be talking about islamic you can be talking about the quran you can talk about a hadith you can talking about something a good stuff like it has a good lessons that is mashallah becomes your sadqa jariya also that risk is halal and also the work you're doing it becomes like a very good uh sadqa jariya because you are not being uh promoting something which is forbidden by allah but you rather be promoting something uh what is something like a uh, permissible and this an educational and entertainment and like for example like uh like you're making a travel video your face is not visible but you just like moving around the camera talking about it and the mashallah that that's very good that's a really entertainment as long as the face is not visible and uh, nothing for is being seen nothing for is in seen alhamdulillah that this is totally permissible you can do something which is an educational entertainment you can do whatever you then in the limits of the in the sharia but you cannot promote like a making making uh makeup videos and uh, you cannot do uh how to wear hijab and for the brothers the brothers are making a too many uh vlogs that has so much music in it and too much useless stuff too much haram uh ingredient in there so it's too much stuff so they're really not paying attention to stay in the limits so many are has a concern about having a uh, halal risk or the haram risk from the youtube it sense but they do not look on the other side of the youtube channel what they have in their youtube channel is there the the contents they are being uh, promoting the the contents they are presenting to the public is it halal or the haram so they just like uh, looking at the one side they don't look on the other side so this is an example uh to the person who is looking for a halal food and halal restaurant and how he's trying to look for a halal food to eat but he is not looking on the other side if his risk is halal that's not even halal he is not looking the muslims are only worried about halal food only worried about a halal food but they do not worry about something like a backbiting is a haram talking a useless that's haram you doing a many things haram in everyday life but all the muslims are just concerned about having a halal food they do not worry about the the clothes they wear they do not worry about um the sisters do not worry about having a fashion their brothers do not worry about uh listening to tv music movies and everything but yes yeah, they want a halal food that's it they do not worry about the risk they earning it's a halal and if they are working on a convenience store if they are uh working on a convenience store they have they are not even concerned about that how much percent in the whole they they are working how much percent the uh, the things they have sold as a cashier how many things were halal how many things were permissible and how many things were uh was forbidden for an example like an alcohol like a cigarette like an adult material it, it's it's so many things they have a pork food and like a un un halal food everything is in a convenience store so every all the muslims are worried about halal food but they do not worry about on more other things to be worried about that's more extremely uh has a more sin like for example backbiting talking on negative about other people they just concern about a halal risk so for so now uh those brothers is concerned about to having a halal risk on the ads and so they have already filtered the all the forbidden categories so they're 
according to their categories the, the bad wrong advertisements will not be uh, presented to the individual who is using com computer anywhere in the world so if some individual is looking at the computer and some advertisement is coming and you have not filtered that and that particular advertisement is being uh, presented on some individual is using a computer and he's searching for something and the advertisement is comes from your account now you get a send because you have not filtered all these categories and subcategories mashallah yeah, mashallah youtube does have all the options it's it's not something all the risk is bad and all the risk is permissible or the forbidden so there's a man ways to earn haram and there's a ways to earn and halal and many majority of the the muslim brothers and sisters when the money coming is in when the money is coming in they really start having a concern about the money coming in is it it is good or it's a bad money because they just think the money is uh, flowing for an example uh, many husband wives and many uh, vloggers are very popular on a youtube channel their channels are totally forbidden there is no justification there's no um, justification they can justify their own self but they cannot justify allah and they cannot justify the prophet sallallahu is totally haram promoting a woman on on computer uh, openly to the public it's totally haram uh, what they are promoting promoting that is also haram and the risk they are receiving from that ads and that is also haram so rather we should stay on a on a limited area like and i have given an example like many sisters has a cooking channel many sisters has a traveling channel many brothers has a good channels even they are not a good teacher they are not something but they are uh, promoting something virtual like very informational and uh, somebody can benefit is an educational it, it has a two rewards first the risk is totally uh, permissible and that's a lot and uh, besides other people are taking advantage of that uh, knowledge mm -hmm.